The Red Raiders and the Islanders coming up. Texas Tech coming off a win over Abilene Christian 51-44. Clung directing traffic over to Micah Peavy. Peavy's going to drive and hand it back to Mack. Spins, got to the window, flipped it over his right shoulder, layup good by Santos Silva. Yeah, that's Mack McClung being a facilitator right there, maybe not necessarily looking for his shot, but getting uh, getting one of his uh, teammates involved right there. Nice penetration and uh, dish right there to Santos Silva. Jay looking at a man-to-man -man defense. They're switching on some screens low there. That's interesting. As Kyler Edwards backs his way to the left elbow. Pocket pass underneath for Santos Silva, and he'll finish with the left hand. He's got five. That's the second time in about as many possessions where you've seen the Red Raiders facilitate getting into the lane and just drop it off. Kyler Edwards there, Mac McClung earlier. Got a 2, -two one. one here, trying to spring a trap. He stepped through and lost it. McClung throws it over his shoulder, down in front of PV for the dunk. Yeah, how about like sometimes you can get a little hand or wrist, and sometimes that call will go against you. Well, they're really starting to squeeze the Islanders now. They got a trap install. They got a knock away and a steal. Down the floor for Kyler Edwards. Alley oop. Hammered home by PV. It's a dunk contest for Micah, and the Red Raiders lead 21 to 11. Tech Another leaning move. on the Islanders now, up by 12. 520 left to play in the first half. Edwards, high post catch. Under his left elbow, Santos Silva finds Edwards for the turnaround. Good! A 16-foot turnaround jumper. Bingo! For Kyler Edwards. Oh, that is Taking it hard to the top with a little push off there as Fryer. McClung knocked it free. Now it's Peavy. Peavy's got nobody to beat. He goes up and finger rolls at home. Peavy looks a little winded. He's had two dunks and a finger roll. 27 to 11. Red Raiders. Burnett with five. Four. Burnett. Studies, throws left corner, three by Edwards, got it! A guns up three ball for Kyler, who started the half with a three. That's a big one right there. Yes, right in the whites with scarlet numerals trimmed in black. Those classic whites. McClung, rise for three left wing, bang, a guns up three ball. They got him a look, and he came through. Yeah, 6'5", 250, I would say so. Micah Peavy. Picks up his bounce, goes high post with a catch. It's Marcus Santos Silva. Slips a backdoor pass, layup good. Count the basket. He's fouled. It's Terrence Shannon on the blow by. In traffic wanting space over there. Now he'll rub off a screen. Back to the screener. Santos Silva layup good. Count the basket. He's fouled. Yeah, that's all Micah Peavy right there. What he's doing, he's waiting on that catch you know, on the wing. He uses the defender's leverage coming at him, and then he, and then he uses it against him. They're... they're you know, they're trying to close out for, you know, he may pull the trigger on a three-point look, but he gets the defender going the wrong way, and then he, he got him on his heels right there with the pick and roll, and Santos Silva going to benefit with the and one opportunity. Whacked around and taken by Santos Silva of Texas Tech. Pushed down floor for a handoff, and Terrence Shannon will pop it out front for McClung. Behind the back dribble. One-on-one -on -one mixtape here. Several dribbles between the legs. No look pass to Shannon, layup, good. Dropping times, Mac McClung. Yeah, and they're, and they're just easy looks, and they just can't guard him off the dribble, Hacks. Really? First time he's fouled out this year. PV follow AJ in the corner, a bad choice, and it missed on an air ball, but it's scraped up by Edwards. The pass hit Tyreek in the face, and he lays it up and in, and he's fouled. Nice catch with the nose, and he lays it in. Reed Brown, he'll go all the way in with a floater that spun halfway down and spit out of there. McClung advanced it down to Shannon. Great bounce pass, layup, good with the right hand. Jamarius Burton. Yeah, that's going to be Triggers up. from 18. Too strong. Vlad taps it out for Burton, and another shot clock for the Red Raiders. Burton flies to the goal. Tough shot off the glass, set in for Jamarius Burton. Yeah, nice float. Right side, where the ball has arrived, Agbo. Agbo goes in, threw it off of Vlad's fingers, saved by Burton. Rainbowed out for Nadolny, fire for three, bang! A guns up three ball. Clarence Nadolny's first three as a Red Raider today. He's two for four this season. Yeah, yeah not give anything away here at the end. Left wing, Nadolny gonna arc it up for three again. Yes, sir, again, Clarence Nadolny. Back to back three. He's Steph Curry all of a sudden, man. You see him look over there like, I told you guys I was going <laughs> to light the candle at some point. I think he has the ability to be a guy that, that pitches in very big minutes. I haven't looked at that. Something like that. Well, the coaches and the players will wave at one another as the Red Raiders complete their sweep of the Southland. 4-0 against the Southland Conference. Coach Beard shaking hands with Willis Wilson, the head coach. He's got all kinds of class. Been down there for 10 years. Ends up being a good day and happy 100 wins for Chris Beard. He gets number 100 tonight.
with a 77-57 victory over Corpus Christi. 100 wins and just 45 losses for the two-time Big 12 Coach of the Year, Chris Beer. Yeah, you know, and got there quicker than anybody would have thought when he takes this program over. That said, you hope that there's many, many more of those to come. But, uh, yeah, 77-57 uh, here today. And, uh, man, congratulations to Coach Beard. And, uh, this, and now conference play awaits. Conference play is here, and it's still two weeks away from Christmas. But that's uh, the reality of uh, the 2020-21 season is uh, non-conference play about over with. Texas Tech.